time for the Skinner Auto Group Road Trip. This week we're at Skinner Ford Lincoln Mercury in Herkimer. With all the snow in the forecast, Roger suggests a Ford truck. Sales manager John Ammerman hooks us up with a brand new 2009 Ford F-150 crew cab. This is all truck, but the spacious interior in both the front and back and the smooth, easy handling is all luxury. Although we have visited Herkimer many times in the past, there's always more to discover in this historic village. Before the 1700s, this area was part of the Iroquois Mohawk Territory. Palatine Germans arrived in the early 1700s, and the area became known as German Flats. The village was named Herkimer in 1788, when a surveyor accidentally switched the name with German Flats. To learn more, we visit the Herkimer County Historical Society at the historic Four Corners on Main Street. It is located in the beautiful 1884 Souter Building, which is now a museum and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. If you're like me and can't get enough of Herkimer history, then be sure to go to Barnes & Noble in New Hartford this afternoon between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Sue Perkins will be autographing the Historical Society's Images of America Herkimer Village. It is filled with all kinds of pictures and history about Herkimer. You can also pick up at the same time, uh, this could be a gift for your children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews, a coloring book of Herkimer County that is historical and uh, is very interesting. As a matter of fact, it looks to me like we have visited most of the places in here. Be sure to include a stroll up historic Main Street when you visit Herkimer. Enjoy historic buildings, architecture, and stop into some of the long-established local businesses. When I came here to Weiser's, I asked Fred if there was something unique that I could take a look at, and he showed me two things. One is this. It's an antique kite-shaped amethyst, and it's almost 100 carats. And the other one is perfect if the love of your life is Irish, because this is something I've never seen before. It's an absolutely gorgeous green diamond. Today in Herkimer at the library on Main Street is a children's Christmas party. Children aged 12 and under are invited for crafts, cookies, ice cream, and to meet Santa to tell them their wishes. That's today from 1 to 3 at the Frank J. Basil Library on Main Street in Herkimer. High above, overlooking the village of Herkimer, is Herkimer County Community College. Established in the 1960s, HCCC offers a two-year degree for students preparing for the workforce or continuing education. There are many opportunities for the local community, many free of charge, including cultural events, lectures, sporting events, and art exhibits. Currently in the Kogar Gallery is the 27th Annual Watercolor Show through January 15th. The gallery is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. The village of Herkimer is the oldest settlement in Herkimer County. In colonial times, the area was known as the Stone Ridge. The ridge extended along both sides of the Mohawk River between Frankfort and Little Falls. This area was the only land on which they could safely build, as the adjacent flats were vulnerable to flooding. Most fruit and vegetable stands close up long before the first snowflakes fall, but TNJ Fruits and Vegetables on South Caroline Street is open seven days a week. This time of year, you'll find oranges, clementines, chestnuts and figs, and old-fashioned peanut brittle and ribbon candy. Right next door is another fun holiday shop, Tony Ann's Dolls and Collectibles. You'll feel like you're visiting Santa's workshop, with all the dolls looking down from the shelves. And the little Christmas village's illuminated windows invite you to peek inside. I'm here at Tony Ann's Dolls and Collectibles in Herkimer. I can tell you this much, that uh, I'm sure my daughters wish that it existed back at the time when they were little girls at Christmas time. Being involved in Scrooge again this year was a heartwarming experience and being here at Tony Ann's is an interesting experience because right here there is the Victoria Park Theater and guess what is playing at the theater but Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol and here's Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim too. It's really only a handful that I just can't forget. 
This morning in Herkimer, starting at 10 a.m., is a Christmas bazaar at St. Anthony's and Joseph's Church on South Main Street. You'll find homemade Italian cookies and crafts. The event is free in Herkimer today. Whether fate or destiny, or plans from somewhere above, certain people were bound to me to share a little bit of their love. Santa's workshop isn't the only place bustling with activity. Mohawk Valley Printing is busier than ever, with local calendars, playbills, event posters, and book binding. Mohawk Valley Printing has been here in Herkimer for more than 30 years. They print all kinds of things. If you attended the Nutcracker production in Rome this weekend, the program that you were given was printed right here at Mohawk Valley Printing. We do uh, offset printing. It's, uh, it's a metal plate, it's uh, burned in where the uh, water hits the plate, the ink doesn't stick to the image and it passes it onto the paper. You know, it was letterpress originally and probably, oh, I don't know, in the late 60s maybe or, or mid 60s or something, everybody got into the, into the uh, offset versus the letterpress. Uh, we print uh, brochures and flyers and booklets and pamphlets and, you know, forms and, and all types of stuff. Uh, mostly the Valley area. Uh, we do have some customers in Albany. We do go to Syracuse. Uh, we do go north, south, you know, uh, two or three counties. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy dealing with the customers. I enjoy the product. Uh, it's just, it's nice. I like it. We head to North Caroline Street to a popular local favorite, Vinny's Pizzeria. We meet Vinny, who is all too proud and eager to introduce us to his daughter, who along with her brother are carrying on the family tradition, brought to the Mohawk Valley from Sicily. We are impressed with dedicated employee Phil's pizza making ability. And of course, Richard has to give it a try. Since you came into my life, you filled my heart with love. Now you wanna live without me, then girl, that'd be tough. Cause I'll do anything for you. Yes, I do. We're here at Vinny's Pizzeria on West State Street. Now, by way of background, when Vinny and his brother came here from Sicily, they brought with them secret recipes. I tried to get the secret out of them today as to what goes into their sauces and their pizza and the like. I even tried talking with my hands but it didn't work. But I can tell you this much, the food and the ambiance and the service is top, top, top notch. Vinny's is named after my dad's. We've been in business for 23 years. It's a family business. Um, my dad started it. He had learned from his family. He's, he's from Italy originally. Um, we take pride in our food. My mom is also here. She's not here today. But we do all the cooking, we make the sauce, my dad does the dough, my mom does the lasagnas and the dinners. Um, it's for, truly a family business and we really take pride in our food. Everybody has their own special thing that they liked. Um, we, you know, a year ago when our place fell down and uh, people were, couldn't wait till we came back, everybody had something different. Our calzones, our pizzas, our dinners, our tunnels. We have a variety of good homemade food and basically it's just a person's choice. If you want genuine Sicilian food, you come here to Vinny's in Herkimer, and whatever you have, be sure to top it off with a cannoli. They're made right here on the premises. And I had to ask Vinny, uh, cannolis, I love them, okay? One of my favorite things in life. The origin of these, where do they come from? They come from Sicily. They come from Sicily, too. Sicily. Mm -hmm. 